All right, so just recently, performance has been a little bit on the poor side, and at anything other than kind of light throttle, I've had a bit of black schmutz out of the exhaust. Um, boost pressure's good, main fueling's not been turned up an awful lot, um, so I'm looking now at timing. So I thought I'd do a little impromptu video on pump timing. Now on a Mark 1 or 2, it's uh, obviously a distributor pump, it's not common rail and that's all gear driven from the crank up to the injection pump and then from there it's a belt drive up to the cam so it's not like the belt's stretched or anything like that you ain't got to worry about all that it's literally gear driven so yeah so to time the pump a lot of people are like well surely you just bubbled it in it's timed no it is on slotted holes the pump actually you know twists on the mountains there's a couple degrees at least, so maybe 10 degrees, it's a fair bit, and that's how you adjust your static timing or initial timing. So I'm going to do a little video on that now. Basically on the front of the pump there's a flange, there's a bolt this side, a bolt that side, and a little support bolt at the back. Just behind these injector lines is a bit tricky to get to, but I use... Um, it's a 12mm, so I get a 12mm deep and then a UJ and a 3 8 ratchet around the back of here. And that's how I do it. So I'm going to go do that now and to advance it's towards the head and to retard it's away. Now ideally you want to go at it with an adapter like this that goes in the back of the pump. That's uh, another thing. Um, but basically it will look a bit like this or it will have a little um, body and that will come out to the side where this dial goes mounted but basically you're going to put that in to the truck slip that in there and there's a rod now obviously me being me I've made this so that goes in there and that measures the amount of travel the plunger in the fuel pump is doing and you want to aim put that back in there what you want to aim for is uh, on that bottom pulley there's two marks one is top dead and one is 10 degrees before what you want to aim for is uh, a standard 0.95 to 1.05 millimeters of plunger lift so that plunger is going that one mil towards the back of the fuel pump at 10 degrees so the way you do that is there's a little um, like bleeder bolt sort of thing in the middle of those four injection lines at the back of the pump so on the back of the pump there's one two three four in the middle there's this little bolt you pull that out you screw your tool in and then you rotate the engine to about 30 degrees before top dead centre or whatever so that this dial gauge isn't moving so there's no movement it's on the flat spot of the can inside the fuel pump um, and then you zero your dial gauge you wind this over to 10 degrees and you take a measurement and if it's say 0.85 you know you're way retarded bump it a bit that way go back to 30 degrees zero again take your measurement and and get until it's in spec so standard spec like i say is 0.95 to 1.05 i've had good results on my old mark ii engine um, that was obviously electronic at 1.15 of lift and that goes all right it's not too clanky or anything um, but obviously your mileage may vary so see what you think sounds good what gets good economy um, and doesn't melt your pistons so uh, yeah let's go do that now and then we'll do a bit more detail of what does what and how it all works so I've just got a torch near to show you but you can see the flange on the front of the fuel pump there's a nut right down there a nut on this side and a bracket at the back you can't really see so we'll go do those so the first one is uh, fairly simple I just get a 12 mil spanner on it under here on it like that and crack it off you don't need to crack them off you know a long way just a quarter of a turn something like that and um, it's easy when you don't have a camera in the other hand. There we go. So about a quarter of a turn, crack that off. Get your spanner off. And then 
Second bolt, a little bit more tricky. You want to cover the extensions and 12mm deep and reach around the back of these injector pipes. So, one second. So, second one, extension and 12mm deep, 3 8 ratchet and just go in front of those injection lines behind the pump and uh, try and undo it. And then the third one, UJ, just because it's a bit of an awkward angle the way you're in it, and a deep. And then you want to try and rustle it around the back of there, so sort of in between the starter motor down here. It's not exactly the easiest thing to get to. Slack and all three nuts off, that last one's a little bit tricky. And then you're just gonna push the pump a little bit that way, like a smidge. And then nip your bolts back up. And uh, after you've done it, what you want to do is retension the cam belt. Because obviously the cam belt's running off the front of this pump essentially. And although it's in like a bore with a boss, you could disturb the tension a little bit. So it just pays to check it really. So like I say, just push it up a bit, tighten it up, so 12mm spanner, see if we can find this nut in the dark, yep, see if we can tighten it up, right, like I say, uh, torch over the number 2 injector shining down there, you can just about see that bolt head and do it. A little bit tricky, the Land Rover ones have three bolts around the flange. These have two and a support bracket. Right, so I've just tightened up all three bolts. I didn't get any footage of it because I'm not an octopus. But that bolt, that bolt and the back bolt tight. So the next thing to do... Whip these 10 mils up cam cover, release the tensioner, check tension, well obviously let the tension go again, tighten it back up, job done. And then uh, I'll show you a video of us starting up. If this don't cure me a little black smoke problem, I'm um, probably going to look at a lift pump. There you go. So, um, my alternator's got a little bit of a drone on it, I know about that. But there you go. She's still not too uh, clankety, you know. Fuck that old one is droning. That's worse than normal. Not got hardly any smoke now. I didn't advance that a lot. Yeah. So we'll see if this cures a problem, basically. As you can tell, she's not a noisy old diesel just yet. It's not advanced way too hard. You know, it's not hammering out the bottom end. Um, we'll see how she goes. All right, so I just got the missus to give it a little rev under the bonnet whilst I sat next to the exhaust. And there's a slight tinge of grey smoke, but yeah, she's pretty mint. Um, there's no big black clouds coming out or anything. So we'll see how she goes, really. Um, I'm a bit confused because every symptom it was given was that the pump had sort of slipped round on its mountains and it was a bit retarded. But all those bolts were like FT, man. They weren't moving. So, I don't know. But I've advanced it a bit and it's not clackety clackety, is it? So. Let's turn it off, check the cam belt tension, and give it a test ride tomorrow on the way to work. So I'm just taking this off. Um, not much point showing you just how to tension it. That's no good, is it? So I'll cover that in another video. I'll do a cam belt change video for you all.